Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Alicia, and if you're not, welcome back. Today, I'm bringing you a little... It wasn't little at all, hence the whole video. Notion update and also a Notion tour of my new dashboard that I've created for this semester. Yes, there's more to Notion than I initially discovered, like so much more. So if you want to see what I've done and how I'm using it as a student for this semester, then keep watching and follow along. Mm -hmm. show you on my iMac because the screen's bigger but we might have to switch to my laptop later on because this thing is a bit temperamental and the mouse disconnects every five seconds so we'll see how long I last and yada 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 let me just screen record all right and we are off ah, okay so the biggest change I've made to my notion dashboard is actually it's a lot but it closes. That is freaking awkward. Yes. Okay. I've created a full dashboard, so sort of like a central location where everything related to uni is on here, and it's also like transferable between devices, which is super handy because you can access it wherever you are. As you can see here, this is the main landing page let's call it. I'm currently doing my Bachelor of Science so that's why I've just got that there as the title and then got these little <laughs> test tubes as the cover because I don't know it's on topic. <laughs> and then I've got this little quote it says stay positive work hard and make it happen. I just wanted to add a little something little caption thing underneath the title because I thought it looked cool and also is like motivating. If you looked at my first Notion video where I showed you how I used it for uni, this part here in terms of my subjects is all pretty much the same. I had a separate page for each of them on the sidebar. I still have that for the subjects I'm doing this semester but it was getting a bit clogged up because I would have all my units like along the side here. So I just created like a little subject archive at the bottom here where I've got my subjects, when I did those subjects and like what type of units they were. So whether it was for my anatomy major, physiology minor, etc. This is really helpful if I need to look back on certain content. Like if someone asked me a question about a subject I did last year, I can have a look specifically through this archive. But if you open these pages, it's exactly the same as what you would have seen in that video where I have my revision schedule, course content with all my active recall questions inside them. So this is really good like if you need to tutor or if you need to like review stuff from past subjects, all the information's still here and all my slides and like notes are also embedded within this. So it's a really good resource to access if you need. But moving on to the star of the show, this is this semester's dashboard. So these are the four subjects I'm taking this semester. These pages are basically exactly the same as I just showed you there with a few little add-ons in them. So I do have my course content. We're only in week three, so I've only got these lectures here at the moment. But what I do now is a little bit different inside these subject pages. So as you would have heard in my last video, I am currently using Anki at the moment to learn all of my course content. And yes, I'm not writing any notes straight after the lecture. I'm going to probably use it as a revision method close to the exams to write summaries. I'm going to try and do it completely from memory. So it's a completely active way of writing notes. Instead, to write those notes, I'm going to use prompts based on the learning objectives and the course book we got given. So for example, in anatomy, instead of using my notes to write questions, I've just completely copied and pasted all the notes from the course book into Notion. And then I've created little toggles. So if you open each toggle, so lymphatic system, I've got like definition, lymph vessels, I've got functions. And then when you toggle this open it should have all the functions of lymph vessels and then more questions sort of inside so when i got this from the course book it said tissue fluid is made of plasma blah 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 whatever it says here and then i just sort of broke up the sentence to make it like a prompt that way when i'm writing my notes from memory hopefully i can just look at th these titles open the toggles and be like lymph vessels functions i'll list all the functions open it up, see if I got it correct, and then add any extra details based on these prompts. I've also added images. So for example, like when I'm coming to write my active notes, I'll 
be like main pattern of lymph drainage for the right side. These are the lymph trunks on the right side. It's the right jugular trunk, right subclavian, and right bronchiometastinal. And then more info. So they're kind of like questions, kind of not fully questions, but good prompts to help me expand on how much knowledge I need to know for that topic. That's what's inside those pages instead of my question toggles. And then if we go back to the subject page, this here is a little revision tracker thing I've made. This is actually quite cool, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> um, this thing here is a space repetition tracker. I watched a video to do this, but I coded in with the formula thingo property on Notion. Yes, this looks very complicated, but I followed a video and I'll link it down below. But I coded this formula so that it'll tell me when to do my next repetition. So for example, if I look at this one here, lecture for cranial nerves, I got given this lecture on the 23rd. So it's telling me my next repetition is on the 24th. That's when I need to review the content for that lecture again. So once I've ticked my first repetition, this date should change to when I next need to review it in like the space repetition manner, where you go one day, three days, a week, two weeks kind of vibe. So you can see that sort of switch to just three days now from the start date. Once I click that, it should be a week from the start date and then two weeks. That's the formula there if you want to pause the video and have a look at that. I didn't realize you could do all that stuff on Notion. But anyway, back to the dashboard. For something like this anatomy major subject I'm taking, there's not as much memorizing content that I need to do. I do have at the bottom here all of my course content and stuff, but instead of that tracker, I have this little assessment table because this subject is very assessment heavy so as you can see every single week I have an assessment due for this subject. Staying on top of that is really important. I have listed all the assignments that we get given and when they're due, how much they're worth and whether I've done them. That way I can always come back and check that. And then at the bottom here I've got the same deal as what you would have seen first anatomy one where in the lectures I've got the toggle notes. It's not as much question prompted because I don't really need to memorize content for the subject. So I've sort of just tailored whatever information I put in there based on what the subject type is. The next thing I wanted to show you on this dashboard is my assessment tracker. At the beginning of the semester before uni started when I was creating this dashboard, I went in and wrote down every single assessment that I have due that semester. I've got here the week, the subject, assessment task, due date, all that jazz, and then have written everything down. So that's pretty self-explanatory. It's just a table basically. And then the last table I wanted to show you was my to-do tables. So I've created one for each subject in terms of these are the tasks I want to do. Like when one comes to my head, I just add new type task when it's due or when I want to get it done by. And yeah, but one for each subject just to make it clear. Like if I'm studying anatomy that day, I know these are the tasks I want to get done. Those are all the main tables I have on my Notion. It's space repetition one, my assessment table, and also my to-do table. So I have all these tables, right? But here's the best thing. Because in each of the pages, they're for dedicated subjects, I have used the create a linked database feature on Notion to link it all together and like filter things out based on what subject I want it in that page. If that doesn't make sense, I'm gonna show you now. So if I go to this physiology subject, I'll open this subject page. This looks exactly the same as you would have seen it. Got a calendar here and then all the course content down here. What you want to do is press the forward slash. It'll bring up all the things you can do on Notion. The one you want to click on is here, create a linked database. So when you do that, you want to search for the table that you've created. So for example, if I want to put all my assessments for physiology within my physiology page, I'll search for the assessment table that I made, the one I just showed you in that revision tracker page. So as you can see, it's just brought up everything, but I don't want everything because this is only my physiology stuff. So what you do is press these three dots, press filter, you add a filter, and you want to click subject is busy. And now it's just brought up all my physiology assessments, which is great because that's all I wanted to see. Kind of all jumbled up. I don't know, really know how they've sorted this, but what you want to do next is press sort, add a sort. I always like to have it in order of when it's due. So I have due date, ascending, and then, and then that will bring up 
all the assessment tasks you have to do. I will also make it so you go to properties and then I unclick subject. Like I know they're all for physiology, so I'll just unclick that and then I'll rearrange the table. So I have it by week, due date, percentage. And then you have all your assessments for physiology within that page. Yeah, pretty cool, isn't it? So that's one way I use the linked database. My last two linked databases are on this side here. As you can see, I got a bit carried away with the linked databases. I like, once I figured it out, I was like, oh my God, I'm gonna do this for everything. Here I have high priority. These are my high priority assessments based on ones that are coming up. Again, this is linked to the original revision tracker table that I made of all my assessments this sem. As you can see, that linked database was huge. The ones that I have here are filtered so that it's only going to show me the assessment tasks I have due within the next month. So I've gone filter, add a filter, due date is within the next month. The next month seemed the most pressing to me because that's when you kind of want to get started, especially if they're pretty big assignments. And then the last link database I think is pretty cool, not gonna lie. Um, so I'll show you that one now. But if you go to my big revision tracker, I'm gonna have to adjust some of these start dates just so I can show you. Today is the 27th of August. I'll show you two examples. So pretend for anatomy, I had this lecture yesterday. I didn't, but pretend I did. This is coded, so it's telling me my next repetition is the next day. So that's today, August 27th. Same for physiology. If I had this lecture yesterday, my review, first review should be today. Just a forewarning, I, before the semester started, I went in and made this whole table and this is when I knew my timetable. So I put in these dates based on when I had lectures. So these, this is like Monday of week one, Monday of week two, and this is Friday of week one, Friday of week two, etc. It did take some time, but I did it before uni started. So it was all set up ready for me. But anyway, if I go back to my dashboard and then I go into today's repetition, as I said, pretend I had those two lectures yesterday. Today is the 27th. I go on my notion, open up my dashboard, and then I'm like, what do I need to revise today? Well, my notion board's telling me because the link database says that these are the two repetitions I need to get done today because it's coded in that way. To do that, I went link database, filter, and then my filter property is the next repetition is today. So these are the two repetitions I'm meant to be doing today. Once I've done them, they should disappear from my board just like that. Pretty cool in my opinion. Yeah, so that's pretty much my entire Notion dashboard. I know this looks very confusing. Um, I hope it was okay to follow. There's a lot going on here, but I told you once I figured out you could create linked databases, kind of got a bit carried away and just like put them everywhere because <laughs> I thought it was so cool. But yeah, that's everything I do for uni and how I use Notion for uni at the moment. I do understand if this is your first time using Notion or coming across it. This is quite overwhelming. I'm using quite advanced functions on Notion that I definitely did not use as a beginner. So if this is your first time using Notion, then I would highly recommend you go watch my first Notion video I made. I'll link it here on the information card at, on the screen. But I would follow that one first if you're wanting to start using it because as I said, I made that video when I first started using Notion. So I was using its most basic features, but still getting a lot of use out of it. As I've sort of played around with Notion a bit more, I've discovered more stuff you can do on it. That's why the, those two videos are very different. I will also try to make a template for this to make it a bit easier to use. It is gonna be quite difficult because I have used a lot of linked databases. So this is going to primarily depend on your initial tables and like this is very tailored to what my uni schedule is, but I'll do my best to make a template. I'll link it in the description below in this video. I may not get it ready by the time this video is live, but I will update you on my Instagram at study collab. So if you haven't already, then go follow there to get the updates because I'll let you know once it is live. But yeah, hopefully that will help. And if not, as I said, go watch the first Notion video I made because it's a lot simpler than this. I would only really recommend this if you've been using Notion for a while. As you can see, Notion is super powerful and I literally don't know how I did uni before I had this. So I hope you found it useful. If you did, then please give the video a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments down below if you have any more questions about Notion. If parts of this were not easy to follow, then let me know in the comments and I will try to get back to you or I will 
mention it in a future video. But if you enjoy this type of content, then please subscribe to my channel down below. I'd be super grateful and I would love to have you in this little community. And yeah, so thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!